guys welcome back to my channel I'm Jess if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell button for updates on when I have new videos I do beauty reviews hauls get ready with me as I'm filming today I'm doing a get ready with me I've got a bit to chat with you guys about some stuff has happened um, please ignore my or excuse my nasally voice I am still getting over bronchitis but I am on the mend um, but yeah we're gonna dive right on in to this get ready with me so I can get some stuff on my face so I don't know if you can tell all I've done is my eyebrows all I used was the Chi brow pomade in dark brown and the Rimmel clear um, gimme brow um, mascara thing I don't know why I phased out on what that was I'm thinking I just applied it. They actually look quite good. You guys know the struggle is real with my brows. I haven't even primed. I always generally do my eyes like primed as well, but I'm going to show you what I've been using lately. I am testing out some new brushes that were sent. So this is a semi-sponsored video, but all my opinions are my own. I got sent this gorgeous mermaid set of brushes. How pretty are they? It was actually a set of four my bird destroyed one of the brushes um so it was actually the other one of that one but that was my fault for leaving them out i haven't tested them i've had these for now a couple of weeks because i've been so sick i haven't really worn makeup at all look how good my skin's looking too like it's cleared up so much if you guys want me to do a skincare routine or whatever let me know in the comments but anyway I'm rambling so like I'll leave all the details for this I have a coupon code and a link down below with one stop beauty so they got in contact with me and they're just so pretty and the quality actually feels good like they're a little bit more pricey I think full price is $19 for a set of four but the quality on these are really good like I've had cheap eBay brushes they don't feel like them at all wash them They've washed up really well, there's no shedding. And that brush I'm actually really keen to use because it's quite dense and fluffy. I'm gonna be a little bit extra, I'm using two Designer Brands by DB primers. This is a dupe for the Professional by The Balm, I think it is, no, Benefit. So apparently, like, I've read up and it's apparently meant to be a dupe. It's a pore minimizing primer. It's got vitamin C and E and peptides in it. I have used it before, just not for a while that's what it looks like I need some moisture back in my face this one's quite hydrating as well I know they brought out some new stuff like new primers new foundations um, yesterday oh, breaking stuff good one um, yesterday I put in on on an order online because they brought out their new holidays collection, so I brought out, I brought a blush palette and an eyeshadow palette, which I'll be testing for you guys. It feels really smooth. So I'm not sure if you can tell, it's given like a slight blurring effect, but I've also got this um, Blur Skin Perfector 3-in-1 Miracle Worker by DB. I've had this for a while. I usually use this on school days because it helps to make the foundation last longer. It comes in this little compact. Let's get it on my finger and it's kind of like a gel consistency when it's melted down because it starts off solid. That's what it kind of looks like. And then you dab it in get the blurring effect and you'll tell more when I've got foundation on so I hope my lighting setup is better at the moment I think you might have noticed that I've changed my background my lighting um, I was not happy with the quality of the last video I put up I've left it up but I wasn't happy with the quality um, I'm not a pro YouTuber, I'm not a pro makeup artist or anything, I'm just an enthusiast and so I'm doing it on a budget and it's all kind of DIY what I've put together. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is better than last time. I'm going to update you with what's been happening as I get my foundation on. No, am I going to do eyes or found I might do eyes. Um, this is my current favourite eye primer, it's the Rimmel Magnet Eyes 
by Proma. I really like it. Okay, I'm going to set that with powder. Um, this is just my Mo Cosmetic Press Powder. I really like this powder. It's one of my all-time favorite press powders. Okay, dokie. So now we're ready for eyeshadow. I recently bought from Princess Polly the Jeffree Star and Drogeny palette. It's my first ever Jeffree Star product or purchase. And I've got the lipstick in the shade Daddy, so I will be wearing those today. Um, if you guys don't like Jeffree Star or his products, just keep it out of the video. Like, this video is all about the makeup. It's not about the whole drama that is Jeffree Star. Some people love him for his drama. Some people don't, so, you know. I personally love him because I find him entertaining. He's talented. Um, we're going to test the makeup. I've only... I tried doing makeup last week and it turned out a big fail only because I was sick. It wasn't the eyeshadow palette. Um, but I do know that they blend out well and are pigmented. So I'm excited to do a proper eye look. Look how pretty it is. Add me on social media to I'll list all my socials down below because like you'll see when I do hauls on there. Um, You'll see that it came from Princess Polly, so it's all real and legit. I don't do fake makeup. Look how pretty that is. Aww. I'm going to dive into Safe Word. I know this palette is not new anymore. So the brush picks it up quite well. Every time I film, I always miss places where I don't blend out my foundation or my primer because I'm looking I film on my iPad and so I'm looking on the screen as I'm filming and I should check but I don't and I forget so oopsie so these are incredibly pigmented so basically or this shade in particular basically blends out by itself and this is actually not a bad brush. Like, I'm not just saying that because it, they've sent it to me, but that's really pretty. You could do a really pretty grunge look with these shades too. So I'm going to get another fluffy brush and just blend it out more. So that's the real techniques. What I... I can't read without my glasses. Crease Shadow Brush. I bought this on a sale recently because Priceline had Real Techniques on sale. And they had Eco Tools and all that, so just do little circular motions. That shade's really nice because it doesn't blend away on my skin tone into nothing. Oh, I like it. So, update. I ended up in hospital. I over the week um on wednesday i was admitted into hospital because um i got really sick with bronchitis i have a condition called hypoparathyroidism it's a rare condition basically both my thyroid glands have stopped working you have a paragland parathyroid gland and the normal thyroid gland so they regulate the hormones in your body yada yada um and because i've been so sick with bronchitis um, the doctors can only presume that it whacked, you know, threw my levels out. I woke up Wednesday and I had a seizure from it, which was quite terrifying. Um, I've never had a seizure in my life before. Now, it's not the epileptic kind of seizures, it's called tetany. But it's still quite terrifying because your body goes into parathesia. Um, which is being basically paralyzed as well as cramping at the same time. It can affect your breathing, your heart can stop. Um, when I got to hospital, my calcium levels were so low that the doctors were actually surprised that I was still conscious. I could have been in a, in a coma. So they admitted me overnight. 
and I had to have calcium infusions and I had magnesium infusions so that was that drama I'm just glad that my other half was home because when he rang the ambulance for me um, apparently I was delirious I could not unlock my hands they were clubbed fist like they just cramped up then they were clubbed fist like that could not unlock it for they keep cramping I, part of the calcium is that I get cramps really easily so both of them were like that my mouth had actually locked up to the point I could not open my mouth he tried administering my calcium for me that I have as an emergency because I am on prescription calcium um, I couldn't open my mouth he managed to get it in I literally had jaw lock I was like I'm trying to do the mouth movement like it felt like it was lopsided I couldn't talk my partner thought I was having a stroke so it's quite scary so they, he called the ambulance they came took me to hospital yeah I'm just glad that <coughs> I'm just glad that everything's now looking up um I had to have a blood test to check my levels yesterday so I went back to the hospital I've got to go back on Monday my levels are rising I've now like quadrupled my dosage apparently with the calcium my condition is quite rare but manageable the other condition that I had was hypercalcemia which is the low calcium but it's just one of those things like diabetes you have to keep on top of and yeah so that's that update I'm trying to think what else has been happening I'm going to my mother-in-law's today today is grand final for AFL footy here in Australia go Tigers yeah that's basically my life in a nutshell I've been so sick I've basically been resting or bedridden I'm hoping my energies are getting up there and I'm just looking after myself I hope you guys are all really well my friend here on YouTube and Instagram Melissa Gold she has had a baby last week so congratulations to her and her hubby on that I'm pretty sure it's okay to say that because she did the announcement on her insta story tomorrow we're driving down to Pakenham um, my partner wants to get some birds that he's interested in where but I do wildlife caring slash animal slash bird rehab but we also have our own aviaries as well these shadows are really really pigmented um no fallout so far which is really good on a clean brush fetish i wanted to do like a cranberry colored Oh gee, that's peeping it, isn't it? They blend out so well and are really, really smooth to apply. So these shadows blend out super well. They don't blend out to nothing. They are really even in applying. I really like this palette. Dominatrix. Just to deepen up that crease a little bit more. I love how that they're mainly mattes. There's only two shimmers in this and really different colours I think too. So so I'm just going to wet this brush with my favourite setting spray by W not W7, um, Fifth Avenue from Kmart. This is only eight dollars. I love this. It's one of my all-time favourites. It's better than the Rimmel Insta one in my opinion because it doesn't have alcohol in it. So I really do love this one. And the mist is really good because it doesn't like jet blast your face and you're like 
Warm Vibes palette and I'm going to go in with a mixture of those two. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight the brow bone and inner corner with that shade there and then I might do a bit of safe word under the lashes. Okay, so I'm going in with this brush. And then I might do a little bit of fetish. And not too much because I don't want to look like I've been punched in the face. So even though this is a little angle of square brush thing, I'm going to use it to highlight the inner corner and brow bone. These shadow brushes actually pick up really well. I really do like them. They're soft, they're good quality. I do believe she's having a sale at the moment and with my coupon I'm going to add mascara this has been my favorite combination lately just the covergirl plumpify and the covergirl super size because it lengthens as well as making me look like I've got false lashes on because I'm too lazy for that shiz I can't be bothered with lashes never have Okay, so lashes are done. I think it makes such a difference. Um, I'm going to be using the Mud Makeup Design um, Foundation. I really like this for everyday wear. It lasts well on me. Quite a good coverage. That's about two pumps. So I'm going to blend it out with my platinum base blending brush. Yep, that's what you are, base blending brush. I love this brush because it doesn't leave streaky marks. For concealer, I'm just going to use my one of my favorite concealers. It's the Mud Makeup one. I wouldn't say it's full coverage but it blends out beautifully like without any effort at all and it stays like the whole day once it sets like you can still see it it's really nice the coverage is buildable and it just looks really nice on the skin I think it lays up well, it doesn't crease, it doesn't do anything weird. I'll just use this. This is the Designer Brands Oval Brush. One of my favourites. Using the Face of Australia Press Powder. This is a really old one. I think they've changed the packaging since I've got this one. But it's a really good full coverage press powder. where I normally set the face. Good, now I'm looking like a very Casper the Ghost. I'm going to get my bronzer. So my favorite thing to contour with is this um, Physician's Formula what are you, City, City Glow contour thing. In, it's the New York one. I've had this one for yonks. But it's such a good, it just blends out effortlessly. So I've got two new products. I've got the Designer Brands by DB Blush in the shade Blossom from eBay. The W7 Glow Commotion Pink It Up. So the new one they've brought out. That's quite pretty. I like that shade. It's a 
dusty rose colour. I really like that colour. Pretty. I'm just taking my BYS fan brush and I'm going to highlight. Ooh, that's really pretty. Yes. Looks like. I really like that. I'm Princess Polly, as I said. I got. This is my first ever Jeffree Star lipstick, and I had to get the Manny one. So, this is in the shade Daddy, which I think will go really nicely with this look. Like, look how pretty that is. These don't really have a smell. So this is the finished look. I really like the Jeffree Star palette and the liquid lipstick. This is my first ever liquid lipstick. They feel really light and comfortable on the lips, more comfortable than the Australis ones. They met down really nicely. Really love those mermaid brushes as well. Really good quality, blend out superbly. But this is the finished look. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to try out some of these products, what you liked, if you've got Jeffree Star, um, what I should buy in the future for you guys to watch and, you know, have me review. As always, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. As always, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, thumbs up this video because it really helps me out as a small YouTuber. And I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye!